Like face tissue, toilet paper is a kind of tissue paper used in every home for cleaning and hygienic purposes. However, how is it produced? Actually, modern toilet paper is made mainly from a chemical pulp, but it's still made from paper. Tissue paper may be made using a wide variety of paper types, including recycled paper, virgin wood pulp, and even hemp plants. Stay tuned for further information on the manufacturing of toilet paper. To begin with, let's have some specifics of the toilet paper. The majority of people can't picture life without toilet paper. Every year, the typical American consumes more than 100 single rolls, about 21,000 sheets. It's not used just for bathroom hygiene, but also for nose care, wiping up spills, removing makeup, and other minor bathroom cleaning tasks. Manufacturers predict that an average single roll will last five days. Toilet paper, paper towels, napkins, facial tissues, sanitary papers, or personal items that must be clean and hygienic. They're created from varying quantities of bleach craft pulps with minimal stock refining, making them soft, bulky, and absorbent. Sanitary papers are also craped, which is a technique in which paper is dried on a cylinder and then scraped off with a metal blade, gently crimping it. This softens the paper, yet weakens it, causing it to dissolve in water. Toilet paper may be one or two ply, which means it's either a single sheet or two sheets arranged back to back to make it thicker and more absorbent. Color, smells, and embossing may also be used. However, fragrances might present issues for customers who are sensitive to perfumes. The most significant differential in toilet papers is between those manufactured from virgin paper, which is created straight from chipped wood and recycled paper. The majority of toilet paper, whether virgin or recycled, is wrapped around recycled cardboard cylinders. Well, with that said, what do we know about the origin of toilet paper? Before the widespread availability of paper, many materials were utilized. The Romans employed an L-shaped stick, similar to a hockey stick, made of wood or precious metal in public restrooms, and they used sponges on sticks kept in salt water between usage. Sand, powdered brick, or dirt were employed in dry regions. Until the late 18th century, Muslims were forced to clean with three stones. For many years, a mussel shell was a popular tool. Corn cobs were utilized up to the early 20th century, when paper became widely available in the late 15th century. It began to supersede other traditional materials. Old books, diaries, newspapers, catalogs, and letters were often been utilized. In addition, old paper bags, envelopes, and scrap paper were chopped into bits and suspended from a rope in the toilet. Toilet paper was invented by the British Perforated Paper Company in 1880, making it a relatively new item. It came in square boxes and was printed on rougher paper than the current version. In 1890, the Scott Paper Company in America started making Waldorf brand toilet papers in rolls. Initially, toilet paper rolls were not perforated, and dispensers cut the paper as needed using serrated teeth. For many years, it was an almost unmentionable commodity, and customers were sometimes ashamed to inquire about it by name or be seen purchasing it. Unsure customers may say, two please, and the cashier would most likely understand. To increase concealment, toilet paper was wrapped and sold in brown paper wrappers. Moving on, what are the raw materials needed for its production? Toilet paper is often created from fresh paper and a blend of softwood and hardwood forests. Softwood trees with long threads that wrap around one another, such as southern pines and Douglas firs, offer paper strength. Shorter fibers and hardwood plants, such as gum, maple, and oak, provide softer paper. Toilet paper is typically made up around 70% hardwood and 30% softwood. Water, chemicals for breaking down trees into a usable fiber, and bleaches are also used in manufacturing. Companies employ oxygen, ozone, sodium hydroxide, and peroxide to whiten paper made from recycled materials. On the other hand, manufacturers of virgin paper often utilize chlorine-based bleaches, chlorine dioxide, which have been highlighted as a concern to the environment. Next up, the manufacturing process. The process begins with manufacturing paper products, which may be manufactured from recycled materials or wood pulp fiber. Whitening using oxygen, ozone, or sodium gas is a standard method in the recycling industry. Envelopes that are perforated, scented, embossed, or colored are standard. Toilet paper is made from recycled paper, and the process begins with a mixture of several types of paper. Producers must choose an ink removal method. Before being pulped, it must be 
sanitized and often de-inked. After that, it is crushed and reconstituted into a fragile sheet, soft paper products. It is bleached and scented after the procedure. It was made of trees and little pieces of virgin paper fiber derived from a mix of softwood and hardwood species. Other constituents in the finished product include water and bleaches. One of the stages in the toilet paper manufacturing process is tree preparation, a combination of softwood and hardwood trees. The bark of trees is stripped away. The logs are debarked meticulously, using a machine to save as much timber as feasible. The log is treated by machinery that divides it into little bits. Wood chips are separated into groups. The wood chips and other chemicals are boiled for around three hours in a big pressure cooker, a digester. As the moisture in the wood evaporates, the mass is reduced to cellulose fibers, lignin, and other components. Pulp, a valuable fiber, is the final result. Paper is made from pulp. Moving on, more details on the manufacturing process. The lignin and chemicals used in the heating process are removed from the pulp. Bleaching the pulp eliminates any color and allows it to be utilized. Lignin, the glue that holds fibers together, must be extracted from the pulp before it can be utilized. Otherwise, the paper would yellow over time. The firm's paper stock is created by mixing the pulp with a substantial amount of water. The final moisture percentage is 99.5% and the fiber content is 0.5%. Water is removed from the paper stock by a procedure that sprays it through mesh filters. The paper is then pressed and dried until it achieves the necessary moisture content, about 5%. Paper is scraped off huge spools by metal blades. The paper is then sent through machines that perforate it into squares and cut into long strips. This concludes the procedure. After that, the paper logs are individually wrapped and shipped. Next up, recycled toilet paper. Toilet tissue manufactured from recycled paper is created from both colorful and white stock that has been stripped of staples and pins. The paper is fed into a massive vat called a pulper, which mixes it with hot water and detergents to create a liquid slurry. After that, the recycled pulp is passed through a succession of filters and rinses to remove the paper coatings and inks. The pulp is somewhat whitened and cleaned using oxygen-based chemicals such as peroxide. It then follows the same stages as virgin paper goods, creating a cheaper, less white paper. Following that, what do we know about the quality control when it concerns the toilet paper? Paper businesses often maintain their tree stands to ensure the paper's quality. The chemicals employed in the pulping process are thoroughly evaluated and monitored. The temperatures at which a slurry is cooked are also assured by inspecting gauges, apparatus, and procedures. Stretch, opacity, moisture content, smoothness, and color are some of the properties that may be checked on finished paper. Finally, what are some of the byproducts of the manufacturing process? The bark scraped from the tree trunks, the first waste product generated during the paper making process, burns fast and is used to power the paper mills. Furthermore, after heating, the pulp fluid evaporates into a thick combustible liquid, also used to power the mill. Tall oil, a result of this process, is commonly used in several household goods. Cooking chemicals are collected and recycled in over 95% of cases. Other industry-related challenges, on the other hand, are more difficult to overcome. The loss of trees and chlorine dioxide usage to bleach the paper are two main challenges in producing virgin toilet paper. While manufacturing virgin paper requires the destruction of trees, trees are a readily renewable resource, and paper businesses maintain vast forests to refill their supply. Despite this, some organizations push for 100% recycled toilet paper and a boycott of toilet paper made from virgin resources. These can painters are against modern paper manufacturing because it often uses chlorine bleaching, which produces dioxins, a dangerous family of chemicals. Paper and pulp mills are the primary dioxin emitters, and producers must extensively analyze their effluvia to minimize dioxin emissions. Manufacturers of virgin paper increasingly employ alternative bleaching procedures that substitute oxygen, peroxide, and sodium hydroxide for chlorine. Some use less chlorine. Others have tried boiling the wood chips for prolonged periods to remove more more lignin early in the process while using less bleach. Improved pulp washing removes more lignin and requires less bleaching. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you liked it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.